Once you can shake the heat bed easily, and it doesn't slide smoothly, you need to adjust its slider. Let's take the KP5L as an example. Unplug the heat bed cable. Then loose the four knobs. You have to remove the heat bed to reach the slider. Don't forget to do the bed leveling after the process finishes. Slide the heat bed out then take it away. Watching out the four springs. Don't get them lost. Then use the 3.0mm screwdriver. Loose the screws on the bracket. Remove the screws and settle them well. Then you can release the slider. Push the slider out and put the bracket a little bit back. Clean the rail guide. Dust, filaments, and other stuff might be stuck inside. Remember to add some oil back. Then use the 2.0mm screwdriver. Loose and remove the jack screws in the nuts. Those two nuts don't turn if you don't remove them. Just remember to settle the jack screws well. Then use nipper pliers to adjust the nuts. You can also use something else instead. Hold the slider tightly and use the pliers to press the nuts. Make sure you hold the screw holes well. Then turn it clockwise. It could be tricky. Just be careful and don't hurt yourself. Then use the same way to tight the second nut. Once you finished, slide it back and forth. Make sure it's stable and smooth. After that, you can put everything back. Tight the jack screws back and fix the nuts. Then put the slider back. Align it with the bracket. Then tight the screws to fix the bracket. Slide it back and forth to make sure it's good. It should not shake anymore. You can push it on the corners. The bracket is now stable. Then put the heat bed back. It could take a while to align. Use your fingers and do it one by one. As for the other side, you can lift it a little bit to put the spring. Then you are okay to install the knobs. Install the knobs back. Remember to leave some room for the bed leveling. Or the Y axis limit switch might not be able to trigger. Now your printer should be ready for high quality printing. Connect the heat bed cable and you are all set. Thanks for watching.